Mm. We're not very entertaining. I'm sorry. Psych, bitch. <laughs> We're about to bring some hardcore topics to the table. What are we going to talk about? Oh, shit. This was trending on Twitter. Yeah, like in the it morning, was trending was on Twitter, but I knew before it was trending on Twitter. Okay. Because it, it wasn't serious back then. No one Really? It was like maybe. When like, did you find out? Like, uh, like maybe like two weeks ago. Okay. Um, or, yeah, or I just month, found out today. Or, like, or I was looking ago. on Twitter. Yeah. You know why it's trending now? Because there's like, what, 300,000 yeah, people? Yeah, 300,000 people. Before it was like 3,000. <laughs> it, it was on Instagram. Who's going to do this? It was on Instagram on a meme page where they found the Facebook group. So I was like. This got to be fake. I, I search up. I search it up on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Little did I know it's real. It's real, bro. You, either you're gonna click yes, the RSV, RSVP, yeah, to the event, mm-hmm. <laughs> and now it's at like what three hundred thousand counting. Dude. The Sony meme. Mm-hmm. There's like a meme <laughs> like that. Um, nobody shows up. <laughs> there was a meme was like no one shows up except the guy who started it. Yeah. There's a meme where uh, the you know the No Jumper podcast. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, he posts like how how people be like after the uh, Area 51 raid. <laughs> it's <laughs> I'm not racist, but it was, it was just it's just the meme. It's some black guy holding a big ass gun. It's like a ray gun. Yeah. Right? It's like twice the size of him. Uh-huh. <laughs> It'd be like how how um Area 51 people be after the raid. <laughs> <laughs> it's just him chilling on the couch with like a big gun, bro. It's, it's freaking hilarious. Yeah. And then there's another meme. It's like, um, how does it feel to have a 50 caliber bullet shot in your head <laughs> when you're storming the thing? <laughs> okay. The Facebook group says, if we all show up and storm the Area 51, this I'm summarizing. Like how are they gonna stop us? True. And I'm like, but like what they do you might. Mean how they're gonna stop you? Helicopter. Dude, they're, they're definitely gonna like fucking if if they like even try, they might they might like use force. Like uh, uh, what kind of who who uses force? No, like like the military. The like downright. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All you need is a helicopter and a machine gun. I know. Infinite rounds, bro. Lay them all out. I mean, it, they won't do it, but or just. You know, make the fence electrical. You know, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure the fence is. Probably but like, do they even know where Area 51 yes, is? Yes, it's like it's, uh, it's it's on the it's on maps. I'm it's on sure. maps. Yeah, but like they that just <laughs> might be like a the like like a oh, fake like a fake oh, one. Dude, <laughs> that, that would suck. Dude. it's a gift store, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, I doubt. It. I think people. I'm pretty sure people have been there before and got arrested. I don't. I don't. They have a gift shop there though, for sure. Yeah. You know, because maybe outside. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was. Hilarious, yeah, dude. If they actually do it, it's got a bunch of weirdos, bro. Oh, I and know. there's another meme. It's like, <laughs> it's a silhouette of an alien or like an alien, little yeah. alien. <laughs> it's like, how my alien be waking up three in the morning <laughs> asking me where the refrigerator is? This <laughs> 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 is oh, it's so good. Do you believe they should have equal pay? Bring the mic up. Oh, shit, my bad. Sorry, my mic is like a floppy penis, bro. <laughs> it just droops when it wants. Look, it's doing it right now. Just hold it. Man, hold my damn mic. <laughs> All right. But yeah, yeah. We're already paying thousands of dollars to go to college, okay? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> if we go to UC colleges, okay, or any higher type of colleges, triple, 10 times the price we're paying now to go to Cal State Fortune, correct? Mm-hmm. But what do we have to pay? fucking pay to do our homework like come on yeah come on come on college why are we why are we paying for our homework like does that sound logical to you no it does like do yeah. you agree with that yeah like my econ class we had to pay a hundred and ten dollars to unlock uh online textbook but i got the te- like the the like the physical, physical copy, textbook yeah. yeah but the homework is assigned online. Yep. <laughs> so same with me. I have uh, math for math mm-hmm. on my textbook. So basically, on like our student center on the website, it said no textbook required. Yeah. Little did I know this fool, the math teacher. <laughs> it's probably not the math teacher's fault. I get it. Yeah. Right. Right. He doesn't make the he doesn't make the curriculum. He doesn't do all that stuff. Right. Yeah. But at the end of the day, he said no math uh, textbook. Mm-hmm. And then he tells us we need to purchase our homework, which is only 30 bucks, right? Yeah. Because we need to type in a code. I was like, 30 bucks. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Type it in. Everyone has trouble. And then you, 
the teacher realizes that you need to buy the textbook to get the code to access your homework. And the textbook here, 130 bucks, I think. 130. I just, 100 plus though. And you need that to do the homework you need to that pass to the, the class. Yeah. And you're paying for the class. Yes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and you're paying for that's the class. That's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> college, it's either you trick us into paying the full amount right away, right? And there's yeah. no bullshit, tiny little payments, right? Yeah. And that's it. That's, you know why that's an even better way to do it? Because you know some kids will drop out of class on the first week of school, right? Yeah. So therefore, all that money that could have been potentially made off... Uh, calculating the total yeah. right away. Mm-hmm. So for example, that hundred dollars they have to pay. Imagine yeah. if you paid that right away in the, um, in the fee, like the, the course, the course fee. like for your semester, yeah. right? The semester, yeah, semester fee. Semester. And then you drop the class. Mm-hmm. You can't get a refund. Yeah. So the college already made money. Like think about that, but you're charging us after, uh, after we stay in the class, you know, after we enroll in it. And it's like, it's basically saying, uh, you have to pay this little gate mm-hmm. to get, the rest of your education and to get a good grade. Yeah. And I'm just kind of like very salty. Like, why didn't I know this sooner? You know, why didn't you just again, charge us in total right away? Mm -hmm. Like that. They just need to figure out a better system to to do that. Like I said, before, before like, you know, computers and stuff, like they assign homework, uh, like on paper and, and like for a math class, it's, Mm -hmm. it's better to do it on paper like yeah. in my opinion to like it's easier for me to write it down yeah because online let's be honest i know some of you students do not write it down yeah work, work for work i know some of you just google it real quick slater <laughs> yeah. it photo map it i don't know all any any um easy way to get the answer and mm-hmm. just type it in the computer and you'll never find out if they really did it yeah for real but paper good old-fashioned way you gotta turn it in stuff mm-hmm. like that i know um your math teacher is like giving you math problems to do, right? Yeah, but like they're optional. Like she made homework completely optional mm. because she understands that like some people are just taking this class for the credit, and like if they already know like calculus, yeah, then yeah. like they don't really need. I to. wish my teacher was like that, but I I think he, no offense to him, right? He's just following the rules, yeah. I guess. Mm-hmm. Your teacher is probably um like she, she she's understanding. She said you could yeah. uh. Like you could get the the uh, textbook like online, and there are problems on there. But like she said, it's completely optional. Up That's to nice. You. That's really nice. Yeah, I wish my teacher did that. But I haven't bought the textbook yet, dude. Though the ebook is only half. It's it's basically half. It's seventy five dollars, right? Yeah, you're saving an extra sixty five dollars or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. Which is good. But the ebook is only temporary. Really? Right. It's only one hundred eighty days, and then your access expires but isn't that enough for the semester yeah yeah but and it makes sense too because some people can literally just give their code to the next person and they will reuse it yeah. you know the access information so it makes sense but i don't know dude i'm still paying <laughs> 75 to, to do homework you know? i'm just so yeah that's just not not a good way maybe all colleges are like that and i understand yeah. okay fine but it shouldn't be like this in the first place Either trick us by charging <laughs> us the full price or don't charge us at all and just give us all the resources because we paid to go to college, man. I know. And then another thing, parking. Parking okay. here is, is you hell. Have, you, I don't experience parking because I take the bus to save hella money. Mm-hmm. You're dorming here. You don't need to park. Not until next year, man. Good yeah. luck. Okay. You're paying 500 for two semesters and you don't even get a guaranteed spot. Mm-hmm. It takes maybe half an hour to an hour Especially in the morning, like the morning show. Uh, I talked to Fred today. No, no, like like the ten ten o'clock. Oh, like that. mid morning. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. that's fuck, it's fucking AIDS. But uh, I talked to my friend Fred, and in the morning mm-hmm. he comes in here at six o'clock. Yeah, empty parking lot, basically easy for him. Six right? o'clock. Yeah, because his yeah. his class is at seven. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 so it makes sense. Yeah. But for kids who are coming at five or four, it's packed. No parking. You had to park off site. Right. Yeah. And it, you paid five hundred to park offsite. Like, come on, dude. I know. Like, that's not how it works. Colleges are literally scamming you. If you kind of <laughs> think about it, they're like, "We have room for you. But uh-huh. You just have to find it." Yeah. 
And you're paying five hundred dollars. Don't forget that. I know. So and like, like, if you're late for the class, you're paying for the class. You're you're missing out. Yeah, so like, oh my God, dude, <laughs> so many problems. <laughs> That's why I'm not driving, dude. Fuck yeah. that. I, I'll take the bus. Twenty dollars a month. Hell yeah. Okay. The the cats is a. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, it's a Broadway show, like okay. singing, like people dressing up as cats and singing. Really? I'm pretty sure <laughs> you can you can Google it, but, um. The new cast trailer. They made it into a movie. They have a bunch of famous actors, mm-hmm. and it looks off. Like imagine a furry. It's it's basically a furry. Really, a real furry this time. Like they got the makeup, they got the fur, mm-hmm. the tail, everything, bro. It's horrifying. Like, Here, let, like let me pull you it, gotta let me pull, pull it up, up, man. It's really bad, guys. Let's see this. It's kind of a disappointment too. Like, I mean, I understand how some of the actors would be. Like James Gordon is there, and he loves Broadway, right? Wait, it's like Cats movie. Yeah, uh, first first thing that pops up. <laughs> Everybody's on this. Look, look. Yeah, like Taylor, Taylor Swift. Yeah, like Jennifer Hudson. I see James Gordon, Taylor Swift, Jennifer Idris Hudson. Elba. Yeah, I I can't see Idris Elba doing this type of stuff. You know what I mean? So weird. It's just called Cats, like yeah, yeah. fantasy musical. That's what it says. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Here. it's like it's a it's it's based off the Broadway show. Look at look oh, at that. Geez. This like this so is the one like, that was trending on Twitter. This picture, the one of Whitney Houston. That is horrifying. I know. Why? Why are they even doing this? Like, I don't. I don't know what came to their minds when they're like, "Oh, let's make a." I think it's about. Is it? I should show up if it's a Broadway show. Cats, uh, Broadway show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it is. It is. Yeah. Like, look at the costume. This. Yeah, it's like it's this. It's like this. Yeah. Look how. It's uh like just people. It's people dressed dancing. up as cats. That's yeah. fine, but. When you put effects and CGI onto their face, I know it makes like, them what, like. What's gonna be the story? Like, I don't, I don't know. I think they're like, just—it's Broadway show. It's probably singing stuff like that the whole time. The movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a musical. Yeah, it's like a fantasy. It, musical. I think that's horrifying, especially since furries are now gonna enjoy it. They're, yeah, they're, they're they're gonna crawl out from whatever sewer or rock they're <laughs> hiding from, and just gonna—they're gonna adore this movie. James Corden probably just got the role just because he does the the singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why <laughs> I can car. see Taylor Swift. She's a singer. Yeah. Jennifer Houston. She's a singer. James Corden. He loves Broadway. Yeah. He hosted the... He's um, British. So yeah, yeah. Like, you know, he just loves it, okay? Uh, Rebel Wilson was in Pitch Perfect, okay? Um, Jason Derulo is a singer. Mm-hmm. Um, Elon McKellen, you know, he... I guess he does quirky, quirky stuff like this. But Idris Elba, dude, he could sing too, dude. Bro, okay, he can sing, but he like you he, know what movie he's in right now? He's in the yeah, Hobbs he, and Shaw movie, yeah. a badass <laughs> motherfucking movie where he's the Action main villain movie with the Rock. Yeah, with the Rock and um Jason, Jason Statham. Statham. Yeah, and then we're gonna have him and Cats. <laughs> dude, that that police chase was crazy. Here, I think. What happened? Um. This guy, he stole, he stole a car, mm-hmm. and he's with this other girl too, and mm-hmm. it was in South LA, so basically the hood, and yeah, uh, they're just driving around trying to get away from cops and stuff, and here I, I'll show you a video right now, I think right. I could share it. Uh, yeah, dude, this. South LA, Southbound on San Pedro Street. That vehicle we we believe came back as a possible stolen. There's a male driver, a female passenger. Um, so it, it's yeah. really difficult to know. Oh, there you go. Look at that. A spike Ooh, strip. Wow. And that did the trick. We'll see if they get out. Boy, he's continuing. This guy's just going like 80 miles per hour on-, on this street. And then look, there's a spike right there. He does mm-hmm. a Tokyo drift right out. <laughs> and now he comes back the other way. And you Damn, Look at all these cars. That was smooth. I know. There was a, there was a strip, uh, like a, a strip. You know how they have spikes and stuff. Uh-huh, they yeah, lay it yeah. down, and then this this guy saw that shit, pulled the handbrake, did a one eighty turn, Tokyo drift, and <laughs> went the other way. That was smooth. Someone like when he gets out of prison. Someone should hire this man immediately. You <laughs> get on a truck too without flipping it. Yeah, dude. This, this man went for one hour, like at over an hour, just driving yeah. around. I feel like high speed chasing, there's only two ways to get away. You either have a really fast car 
mm-hmm. or you have traffic. Okay. Yeah. Those are the only two ways. Like I was watching some um, live PD, mm-hmm. and he was uh, there's a motorcycle chase, right? So this fool, um, the police stopped him and said, "Hey, stop, pull over!" Like, because uh, they were motorcycle racing. This fool said, "Fuck it." The entire gang all split up into different areas. <laughs> so the police car only chased one person. That person dropped off like uh, his buddy at like the motorcycle bar with a bunch of other like five three people, and then he sped off again. Damn. Like he, it looked like he was stopping. And then, so the the, uh, the policeman stopped and oh, he's getting out. All of a sudden, he just gets back on his bike. And just, <laughs> but then he goes on for like literally five more minutes later, and then he stops and then he says, "I give up." But Damn, bro, this he, guy. Why he he it, wouldn't like, give up at all? Like I know, but he, he he ended up getting caught, right? I yeah, he ended seen. up getting caught, but it wasn't yeah. until the like I was I think this uh it shows this shit, but. This guy, the guy, he was, um, he was driving on a one lane road and this other car was, was in front of him. Uh And I think the guy in front of him knew that like, this was the person the police were trying to get because he was circling around the area. He wasn't going to a different city. He was just staying in South LA. So the, the guy in front of him stopped and this guy, the guy, um, who was trying to get away crashed into him and the guy in front of him didn't let him go and he's the guy uh just kept spinning his tires until mm-hmm. his tire just completely came off and it was yeah. one of the back tires and he was just driving on uh the rim for at least 30 minutes and and he he ruined the roads like completely ruined the roads. Yeah, <laughs> if you said rims, that means straight up metal on fucking concrete. Yeah, and he was still going after that, and it wasn't until um he went in this residential neighborhood. He mm-hmm. he was driving forty miles per hour on the rims, and so the rims got like really thin, and yeah. he was he was slowing down. And once he couldn't drive anymore, they tried to run for it. Like there was a girl mm-hmm. uh, in the passenger seat and they started booking it. And like all the cop cars were behind him. They just tackled yeah. the guy. And yeah, he's, I don't know what the, he's going to get at least uh, some jail time for sure. For sure. For sure. He was driving hundred miles per hour on the street. Like they probably, they probably won't even have to press him for the, the ori- original Five yeah, just putting everyone in danger and speeding is already he- and dude, like I'll show you up. I'll show you this other video. This man crashed into a car going on the highway the opposite direction. He was going on the like you know how traffic flows this way. Yeah, this guy was going the other way on the side yeah. and crashed into a car. Yeah, I've seen some like cop cars like straight up. You know, like the underpass. Yeah, of like a, a freeway. I've seen cop cars like straight up run a ramp. And then hit the top of the underpass. Damn, bro. That's that was like live uh, uh, police camera footage on the the dashboard. Yeah. Was the head on? Oh, 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 there it is. Goodness, look at that. Wow. Boy, we knew that was possible. Manchester Avenue, and look, the suspect is oh, still yeah. going and trying to get away. Oh, now he's stuck. That vehicle is actually stopping him. He could have got out of the way. It looks like right now he's just gunning it and trying yeah, to push the, that this the one where... away. This I'm truck just shocked as I see that head. axle that it hasn't gone ahead and completely <laughs> caught on fire. And he stopped uh, People, oh boy, they made a run for it. They get but, out of the vehicle. Dude, they this ran. Guy, he one was is insane, down. Bro. Two are down. They have like, both in custody. I've never seen anyone go on the highway 70 miles per hour and then turn around and then come back and and hit. he hit another car and he kept going after that. It's fucking yeah. insane. He does like a... Like, you know how you do a step back three, mm-hmm. but he does it off of one leg and shoots it while he's on the one leg. Yeah. On Damn. the one leg. He's going to get injured. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody steps on his foot and then. <laughs> Bro, I can see someone like, like, obviously he's on one leg, so he's going to be off balance. Right. I can yeah, see he's someone like, like fading away and then he's shooting it while on one I leg. I can see someone like just like slamming into him and he flies right to the ground. Yeah. I mean, that would suck though.
But like, that would suck. But like, if he's if that's really his new move, you know, mm-hmm. or more he says like, that it'll change the league. Really, but like, I don't it'll think... change the league for the worse. Like, people are gonna get injured. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be out of the game. But like, it's still like, uh, like guardable. Like, you could still defend it for it's sure. But or you can just foul him, like I said. Yeah, because <laughs> he's <laughs> what he's really on one leg, right? Yeah, well, yeah, he's like one leg shooting at the same time, and then yeah, that's easy to. He made it like the first time in in game, like uh, mm-hmm. the preseason. But he was against uh, was it was against what team? I don't know, some Chinese team. Oh, like, okay, okay, yeah, that's, that's probably why he could pull it <laughs> off, you know. Yeah, that the regular season hasn't started yet, so we'll wait to see for that. Uh. Are you excited about the regular season? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I'll try and catch as many games as I can. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not. My brother's the big NBA fan. You know, mm-hmm. he like he names all these players, and I'm just like, <laughs> okay, who? <laughs> yeah, like, who? Like I know the the big names. You know, I know like the basics of basketball, but I'm not like mm-hmm. a, a true NBA fan who's gonna catch every single game. But yeah. my brother will definitely uh, keep me in check with the uh, yeah like the yeah. the games. Who mm-hmm. won? Who lost? Yeah. All that shit. I think Lakers have a good chance this year, mm-hmm. like compared to last year. Well, where they've been like, we will, we always say Lakers, and it's obvious because mm-hmm. they have fucking <laughs> LeBron. Yeah, and now they have AD, AD. too. Yeah, and Danny Green, right? Yeah, yeah. Danny Green yeah. from <laughs> Toronto. Exactly. So it's like- and Rondo, and then uh, some other people too. And then they got a new coach, mm-hmm. and so we'll see how it goes, but. Who do you think like has the best shot right now, out of like every team? Mm. We know like Toronto isn't what it used to be. Definitely not. Yeah, definitely not Toronto. Yeah, yeah Golden I, I State. See... Golden State. Like, I think it's the decline for them now too. But they're, they're considered like an underdog now in a way. You know, because they, they but, lost like, their star I, player. I still don't want them to win because like they won so much. <laughs> I, I can definitely like. I think the Lakers will win. I think LeBron, because I feel like if LeBron doesn't win this season, mm-hmm. this is his best chance. Like, yeah. We have so many people injured, yeah. right? If he doesn't if, if win. He, if he stays healthy, they have Yeah, if chance. he stays healthy and all his players stay healthy, not just him, right? Yeah. I think they have the best chance. Mm-hmm. And, of course, everyone's going to say that because, you know, they just look at the big names, right? Yeah. But I genuinely think if you look at the rest of the league. Where they're at. You where they're at. Yeah. I can see Houston, you know, the the stereotypes of Black Friday, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Especially now in, we're in 2019 approaching 2020. Yeah. A lot of a lot of I'm not, I won't call them dumb, but the traditions of like yeah. these people like after Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. after they eat or after 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 Thanksgiving like yeah. the next day. They always have this tradition of like waiting <laughs> outside in front of the stores, you know? Like the Apple store and stuff like Yeah, that. waiting yeah. to go in and like what do you think about that stereotype? Like I think nowadays, like you shouldn't do that because it's all online now. Yeah. Like the same thing, and you could they offer like free shipping too now. Mm-hmm. Like during that those times, so then you could just order it online. Yeah, not how to like hassle about going there, driving there. Mm-hmm. And, and I think another stereotype to add to that is like people believe there's only that much yeah. of it in the store, <laughs> bro. And that's not true unless they say like there's three left and it's a doorbuster deal. Like you need to be mm-hmm. there to either. Put your name saying that I want this, or yeah. um, I'm gonna be the first three mm-hmm. person to get in there. Like <laughs> either that, or if not, they have infinite stock in somewhere, some like off off site yeah, some place. warehouse. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. There's no way they they, they make these big ass sales mm-hmm. and expect you to trample other people to get in. I know. Like a couple years, what was it like? Maybe it's like 2013 to 2015. People mm-hmm. were dying over Black Friday. I know. And now, now people still kind of do it, you know? They, yeah. Because there's incentives, I, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. Like, if you, like, wait in line, you might get, like, a, a gift card. Mm-hmm. I, I remember, like, a couple year, a couple years ago, Kohl's gave out, like, movie tickets, free movie tickets. Oh, okay. So that was kind of incentive to wait, you know? Yeah. Like, nowadays, I think, like, I think two years ago, I went with my cousin, like, after mm-hmm. Thanksgiving just for fun. Like, we weren't, like, going to buy anything. Yeah. But, just, like, yeah, we were just going to yeah. see. Yeah. Um, and then, like, we saw people waiting, like, at Best Buy. Mm-hmm. Like, we went there, and it was, like, a big-ass line Damn. at Best Buy. It was crazy. And we didn't we didn't buy anything, mm-hmm. but we just, like, walked around. I just, heard Best Buy, like, um, if you wait in line, they'll take your names down. 
Yeah. They won't make you like walk in the store and physically grab the stuff. Mm -hmm. And then they just put a hold on it for you. So that, yeah. that that's kind of fair to the people. Mm -hmm. And then at South Coast, like I went there like mm -hmm. after. Is it packed? Yeah, yeah it was packed. I would assume it's packed. At first, um, we went there at like, I think midnight and it was like locked. Like the, all the doors were locked. Mm -hmm. And then this one security guy came in and then like he opened that one door and like everybody ran in. Like they were running. Running? Like running bro. They weren't like civilized. The security <laughs> yeah. guard didn't say, hey, 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 slow your roll, man. Yeah, dude. And the, I don't know, like, why. I, I, there's only w one time I think I, like, legitimately waited. And it was my parents. They mm -hmm. waited. It was, like, early, early 2010s, uh -huh. right, to get a, uh, a new PC. Yeah. Like, our first computer. And we waited outside. And I remember, like, just staying in the car. <laughs> I had, a, like, a portable TV. Yeah. And I was watching, like, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving <laughs> special. Yeah, those were. Th it's it's pretty fun to like chill outside. You know? Yeah, I know. It's but, a cool um, vibe. It's definitely an experience you have to like, kind of maybe do mm -hmm. once in your lifetime. Especially yeah. like, for example, if you're bored, <laughs> yeah, I know. You just walk outside, and be like, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm like a, after I'm, Thanksgiving, like that night, like you're, yeah. there's nothing really to do. Or you get, like if you had really nothing else to do, you could, might as well just wait. You know, yeah, might be worth it. Mm -hmm. But. um Again, the stereotypes are completely false. Like, come on, if you're waiting outside thinking <laughs> those like, videos like of people like stealing other people's stuff, like yeah, when it's the last one, yeah, like that, that's that's <laughs> that could be true. Like some other yeah. states, who knows their their type of like. I know there's like so many fights and stuff. Yeah, like, especially yeah. the the more country states. Yeah. I swear, like, like Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, <laughs> I swear, dude. Like that's actually that's a fact almost. Yeah, but um, every year that people definitely shop on online see yeah, if you can get those same deals you know jeff yeah. bezos is gonna is gonna increase his net worth fuck yeah dude. that day i watched i saw your snapchat uh-huh and i was like fuck yeah i didn't pay for that <laughs> shit like I, and then like no one invited me to go watch it so i didn't really give a fuck uh-huh it was whatever but then <laughs> i heard it was a quick fight yeah it was real quick 40 seconds like the main card for those guys uh who didn't who don't like pay attention to UFC? Mm -hmm. It was Conor McGregor uh, versus Cowboy Cerrone, and it was a quick fight, forty seconds. And like to me, Conor was like and had every advantage, like right from the get go. Like he, the first move that he did was like a Superman punch, but uh -huh. he like ducked, like Cowboy ducked under it. Yeah. But then uh, uh, Conor like had his leg like right there so then uh cowboy caught like the knee right away <sighs> within like that first two seconds it's crazy i and just saw um because obviously i missed the fight but then on youtube like yeah the main <laughs> part that everyone should know is his shoulder mm -hmm. um i don't know what the move is specifically called but there's like immediately there's memes about it like how conor mcgregor um be fighting in the ring it's like some guy dancing like this <laughs> yeah. and it's like damn that was like Pretty smart on, like I, I don't like. Um, so so you guys should check that out. Yeah. Too, like, so if you what wanna... happened was we'll just recap. And anyways, mm -hmm. essentially, um, Cowboy was either grappled by McGregor or Cowboy wouldn't let go of McGregor. Like, yeah. Who knows? And that man just all of a sudden just leveled his shoulder, like yeah. you said, right? Leveled him. And then boom, boom, three times, couple, yeah, I, three, I four times. Yeah. That last one, it hit him right in the nose and mm -hmm. started bleeding. It and was it, like after the fight, you could see the octagon was like slathered in blood. <laughs> yeah. And, oh my god. Yeah, and that was just within like ten seconds. Mm -hmm. The whole thing. Like I don't watch UFC that often, but I've never seen that. So, mm -hmm. does to see someone like think of that, or yeah. maybe they had it in their arsenal the entire no, time? Like Connor said, like when uh, Joe like did the interview after, mm -hmm. he said that like I've been practicing on that like. Not yeah. like every day though, but like he he's practiced yeah. on it before. Just in case like he gets into that scenario. Yeah. So to like put into like perspective, like now that he showed off that move, mm -hmm. that maybe it is like a real move that people know. But yeah, how many people are gonna like like the future fights that he's gonna take? Mm -hmm. They they're gonna prepare for that type of move. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying? Uh, you never know with Connor. Like he's he's good with like striking. Like his left hand mm -hmm. is really good. Um. He's had a couple knockouts, but he's not too good in submissions. Like he hasn't, he's not too good on the ground. Like mm -hmm. when Khabib fought him, yeah, he immediately you know? choked out. Like yeah, and so with the, this fight, he just tried to get him like right from the get go. He wanted him as soon as possible. Hey, and, and then, it, it worked. Yeah, it worked. seconds. Jeez. Yeah, and then after like 
like uh, after the shoulder hits, they both like separated a little bit, and then Donald threw like the uh, like a leg kick, but mm-hmm. it, he blocked like Connor block, blocked it, and um, then Connor kicked him, and yeah, then it went it was, right. It was a flying kick, yeah, right? Flying kick. That was crazy. And then it went shit. right into uh, uh, Cowboy's right jaw. Yeah. Fucking letting he went down. I I do the one thing I respect about that fight. Well, of course I respect any fight, but that that's fight, especially towards the end when uh, Connor ran towards Cowboy immediately. Yeah, that was damn. It was mm-hmm. like he, he, I don't know what he said to him, but like Cowboy's on the ground, like yeah, bleeding, and then McGregor's just immediate like we got you like yeah. I, like let's make up man it was all, it was all good fun because like seconds before it was like pounding hammer <laughs> exactly. fisting that was like <laughs> jeez i mean it's 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 part of the sport but still yeah you know good sign of like sportsmanship mm-hmm. like even like he hugged his like uh grandma too like after mm-hmm. like his grandma oh, was there did? Oh, yeah okay yeah. wait connor hugged cowboy's grandma yeah oh, okay okay yeah she was there and then she, he just like doing the her. doing the weigh in connor was like i'm i'm fighting for my mom mm-hmm. and like that was like he's gonna win it yeah like, <laughs> something like that like when you talk about family like or for example like the Khabib fight connor made fun of his religion his family mm-hmm. his friends yeah all that stuff you knew Khabib was gonna <laughs> slaughter him like it doesn't matter how good of a fighter when you hit that deep spot Mm-hmm. There's always that motivation. Some, yeah, th- there's something that kicks in that just knows that makes you win, you know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah. that was a like quick fight, but it was a good fight. Uh, like the whole card, I watched like from the prelims to the main event. It was overall a good good event. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was nice. Like for a forty second fight, there's so much content. <laughs> I know. To be honest, because it's, it's still crazy. Because like McGregor, he makes it like a show, like out of no other fighter like does that in my opinion like he comes out there like he and this one he wasn't like as like flashy or taunting but overall he just like uh makes it a show for everybody like when he came out like he had the national anthem of ireland like yeah, he had bro, the, he's so, he had the he's ireland so, flag on he's so like is like is patriotic the right word for it for yeah. like, his country it's crazy yeah. unless it's a you're poor then money is gonna be everything to you okay i don't i think money can can buy you happiness i think in a way you know you know to an extent to an extent you won't be happy forever because but- like with what money can do is can solve the problems that like say you don't have uh like a like food every day and with money you could buy food yeah and you could live healthier. But once but, you solve that problem. Yeah. Then maybe it's, it, it, it's only a short term like problem solver. Yeah. But once you once you have everything that money can buy and you're still not happy, yeah. then what? Then Who knows? that's a that's, that's a problem. why I'm confused. Like, why is she going to such length? See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's I, like was, I, I was watching uh, this podcast. Uh, Joey Diaz, you know who he is? No. Yeah. He's like a comedian. Okay. He has his own podcast. Uh, the church of what's happening now okay and he had uh jordan belfort you know who he is uh, i've heard of him he's like the have you seen the wolf of wall street uh yeah i've seen that movie yeah that's him like leonardo dicaprio oh, is, oh the real the real yeah the, okay that's okay. him yeah and he's like when before he got arrested he made like uh like a million a week damn and he he had like everything like he had like hot girls around him and like all the ca- all the cars yeah. houses everything and like he had to do like so many drugs just to like like be fulfilled every day because he had everything that money could buy mm-hmm. but he was not fulfilled in life because i think that's like, what know, we call it too comfortable you know too yeah. much money money can buy you happiness but yeah if you have short too mu- term it's it, short term yeah if you always. have too much of it it's this like the happiness you, it doesn't feel satisfying anymore. Yeah. Stole a car and drove. <laughs> Five years old, by the way. Five years old. Five. He wanted he How wanted did... to buy a Lamborghini, right? And his parents said no. Uh-huh. And this motherfucker took the keys and dipped. <laughs> and then when the, when the police caught him, like he had three dollars in his pocket. Yeah. That fool really thought that three dollars was gonna <laughs> buy him a Lambo in California, by the way. <laughs> He's he's not from California. He's like, did he crash the car? No, 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 no. He's he's swerving around. 
Uh-huh. But not not nothing where he could have died. Was insane. Which is good. <laughs> yeah. He's probably a better driver than most of the people in Georgia right now. I'll be honest. Right. I know. Like, you see how many people got their license? Yeah, dude. Like, like, like 19,000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, that's crazy. What the hell? <laughs> how could they just give it to them? Because they yeah. asked for it. <laughs> yeah. It's a click of a button and man, you got your license right there. Mm-hmm. And like, when I was seeing my test, I didn't panic at all. I felt pretty confident. But like, it definitely, you know, you have that factor where you just know that you earned it, you know? Yeah. That's but what makes it. A, clicking a button, you don't mm-hmm. feel like you earned it. You feel like you're scamming the system just so you can drive a damn car to go yeah. nowhere, by the way, because you're in quarantine. You're in lockdown. <laughs> it was like 20 bucks. But we, we had small bullets. We didn't shoot, like, really big uh, guns. Bro, I've seen, like, uh, this guy on Twitch. He, like, he does live streaming, and he brought his, uh, his fucking gun friends to a gun range in Texas. Mm-hmm. Man was shooting the, the, the fucking turrets, <laughs> yeah. the LMGs, man. And, bro, those are expensive. They're, like, $100, like, a round or some shit, dude. Yeah. I think ours was, like, uh, even more. I think, I think it was a dollar per bullet. Like, that's how much it was. Fuck, so, adult so, man, bro. Yeah. And, but it, it's fun when you just shooting at a target. Like, this was my first time, like, ever uh-huh. holding a real gun yeah. and, and shooting. But over there, they, they practice good safety. Of course. Everybody knows where to be at. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, all socially distant, too. We were nice. outside. Speaking and, of, like, guns, yeah. uh, like, I was on Instagram and I saw a guy. A guy He's acting all gangster with the gun in the gun range, right? Yeah. And motherfucker shoots the roof of the gun range like three or four times. And he's like, yeah, boy. Yeah, period, man. I got that. Like, look at that target. Bang, bang. You know, even his his girl's filming for him like, oh, damn, boy. Go up, man. You got this. You look at that. You're hitting bullseye. And then the dude, the the owner, he's like, hey, you guys need to stop shooting right now. You guys are blowing the shit out of my fucking roof. (laughs) <laughs> and you, like you could see in the video like there's like dust coming down yeah uh, it wasn't really <laughs> you're like this and then how are you gonna <laughs> aim like that i know like the gun ranger they also have guns like they're the the people who are just like uh watching everybody that work nice. there they also have guns so if you like do some crazy shit though They'll pull oh, it out. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, that guy was, the, the guy in the video wasn't doing any crazy. He, I think he was actually this clueless where he was yeah, shooting. Yeah. <laughs> I know, dude. He was like, damn, look at that bullseye. I'm hitting the dust right off of it. Yeah, that turns out it's a fucking rooftop, you know? Next thing you know, it's raining. Mm-hmm. But uh, have you, did you shoot any like rifles where they have to like, sometimes they hold your shoulder because some people, they shoot and they, they're yeah. like, Pop yeah, out the their shoulder, it, fucking I hell, know. and then the next thing you know, I'm in the hospital. Yeah, I I shot a rifle. I forgot the name of it, but it was again. We had like small bullets. We didn't mm-hmm. uh, we didn't do the the bigger bullets because of the kickback. Like we didn't want. Yeah, this was our first Honestly, time doing it. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. we didn't want to like risk any injury or anything. But no, yeah. I'm pretty sure if they they like hold the back of your shoulder, yeah, you're, you're perfectly fine. Like there's no way that you yeah. get hurt yourself at all yeah but this one we could do it by ourselves, like since it's smaller bullets but yeah, yeah of some course. of the some of the people that like actually lived in texas they mm-hmm. brought their own guns like they they brought like rifles like in huge cases and man you gotta <laughs> like, you gotta warm up the barrel every once in a while you know, I know. they got snipers what, they got dude, everything some people like you buy a gun for what they want to feel safe Nah, it's a shoot yeah. and have fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dude, I'm joking. Just... I'm joking, man. <laughs> some but, some uh, people buy it for fun, like just going to ranges. Yeah, yeah. and it's uh... and in Texas, they don't even care. Like we, my brother, he was underage. He was he was still 17, and they yeah. didn't even care. Like they didn't even check ID for us. Like me and my cousin. Uh, or I think like, yeah, honestly, like kids shoot guns, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my two cousins who were like twenty one, they sh- they had to show their ID to like purchase the guns and everything. But after that, uh, they didn't even check anything. They just said get uh, eye and ear protection. Mm-hmm. That's all you need. And yeah, go. <laughs> they didn't even train us nothing. Like just just go. Wait, they just fun. let you like 
Like yeah. shoot. Yeah. What? They don't, they, they don't. That's that's a little dangerous, man. Yeah. But, but obviously, you said there was like a, a ranger in there, right? With yeah. The, we we, okay. we asked him questions if we had any. He helped us out, like what to do. And, Did you uh, guys uh, do points? Like, you guys do any bets? Like, uh, uh, who can hit the closest to the bullseye? No, yeah. we didn't do any bets, but like we just tried to get like there. It was a orange thing, like orange uh, cutout, and the yeah. middle. It was like a human figure, but we tried mm-hmm. to get it in the middle, and uh, that's where the X is instead well, of like the yeah. what instead of like a head. Chose? <laughs> you chose like a typical target poster. You chose like yeah. those those burglars like pending the holy gun, <laughs> yeah. and then you just like pop right in the head. Let's go. Yeah, that they had those, but like I think that was uh, a different range. We went in this range where it's like a typical gun range where you just fire down, mm. and the other range they had uh what's the thing that you they throw skeet shooting that oh, thing oh yeah yeah they yeah. had that but that's with nice. shotguns and yeah and that's like in the in the field where they do that shit so Damn. you you but, have your poster right did you bring it home yeah it's, it's right here should i get it show it man yeah show it what the heck Like this shit right here. Damn. Look at that. Sniper. Sniper sham, bro. Put the headphones on. Yeah, so like this is what the the target looked like, and then we just got like the X spot and everything like that. You didn't poke any holes on purpose to make it look like you you had better <laughs> accuracy, right? Nah, dude. This, this is exactly but like Multiple people have shot on this though. Oh, not what? just me. Oh, that's why we, we had what? two. We had two ranges, and there were five of us. So man, you should have asked them for a whole <laughs> new fucking cutout. But there was only two. Like, you can only shoot like uh on one one range. We had two of them, but like we don't have five posters for um, each of us. So. Oh, oh, you guys shared the post. I thought you were talking about like. It's that that poster was previously used by other people. Oh no no no! no it, was, it was your group. Okay, okay. yeah yeah. Jesus, yeah. I'm like, what kind of fucking gun range gives you some other dude's <laughs> poster? Here's like, here you sh- use this one. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do that. This is ours, but like multiple people in got the you, group got you, shot got it. Yeah yeah, nice iPhone 11. Fun fact: it's as big as my phone, <laughs> and I have the 10x 10s. Max, mm-hmm. the most expensive phone that I got from <laughs> last year, and yeah. it's the same size as the fucking eleven this year, and it's cheaper. It's like three hundred dollars cheaper. How much is the, it? Was it's it? like seven hundred. Um, oh yeah, it is three hundred dollars cheaper. Yeah, three hundred. Like it's seven hundred. Um, the retail price, and then like I traded in my old phone mm-hmm. and got one fifty off from that. So mm. it's like, yeah, it's pretty cheap. Yeah, that's nice. I told him not to buy it personally because if you what? bought the XS yeah, or XR, it's, it's 10S or 10X, yeah. XS, right? No, the the X is for the Roman numeral X. That's why. They what do you mean Roman numeral? Like the 10? The 10. Yeah, it's the X. X. Yeah, I know that. But then, like, you don't say, like, if uh, there's a Roman numeral, you don't say, like, I or, like, Oh, I know that, but I like calling it the XS. Okay. Why don't I call it the 10S, man? XS That's what it is. sounds so much better. T- XS Max, right? Okay. Well, anyways, it sounds cooler too, man. XS. But now they change it to 11. Yeah. Now yeah. it's just 11. I'm not gonna call it <laughs> one one or yeah. I, I. Obviously, I know that. Like. Okay. 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 I have a, I have a, I have a grandfather sure. a grandfather clock that has Roman numeral. Okay. Okay. I'm not a dumb dumb. Like <laughs> some people don't know how to read that. Like I know. Actually, it's kind of. Triggering. I, I had a teacher in um seventh grade that taught all Roman that shit. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah. It was pretty. Uh, I learned it as I went because I had the clock and I kept. Looking. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, I told him to buy the the XR or the XS, right? Because yeah. it would have been way cheaper, right? And if you just waited, is no wait two months Black Friday. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. You because I got my phone in Black Friday, mm-hmm. and I had uh. Was there a discount for that? I got sixteen hundred for two, oh, okay, that's and a phone plan. Yeah, that's good. Unlimited data for T-Mobile, right? Sixteen thousand yeah. for two, 
uh, XX Max. It's not si- it's sixteen hundred. Oh shit, my bad. Sixteen thousand. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a deal right there. Sixteen thousand. Anyways, yeah. So, Black Friday deal would have been really good, but mm-hmm. if you can afford it, like I said, if you can afford the new iPhone, do what you need to do yeah. and get that new phone. It's a good upgrade. Like uh, I had the seven before, and that's like a big jump to, um, like with the full mm-hmm. screen. You know, yeah. it still has the notch, but still better yeah yeah uh i would have personally i might i I wanted to switch to android really i really fucked up by buying this phone earlier why do you want the android just bigger it's fucking cooler or i I don't think it's bigger but like which which android would you buy the obviously the newest uh the galaxy is it s10 yeah yeah s10 they have the s10 e plus yeah. Okay. They have the Note the best too. version. The Note. Yeah, the new the Note, Note is the like new Note came out. like a it's tablet, bro. Like that huge. shit's huge. I'm not doing. I'm not buying that type of stuff unless I'm like I'm actually in a business, mm-hmm. you know, where I'm like doing uh, projects and tasks, yeah. management stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I really wanted the Android after it came out, like the uh, S10. Yeah. I was looking at my phone. I was like, oh, this phone is kind of shit. You know, it's yeah. too basic. <laughs> I mean, the like what Samsung does is like they innovate a lot. Like in each new phone they have, mm-hmm. like they add new things. Like with Apple, they're like slow to do that. The lightsaber, like he accomplished oh, yeah, yeah. the goal. I saw yeah. that. I, I just saw the video like like half an hour ago or some shit. Mm-hmm. God damn, that's fucking amazing. I know. That could actually cut through shit. Yes. When will he sell it? I know. When will I see irresponsible other like these YouTubers who appeal to like more of a, a a younger audience, right? When will they be able to buy this and then do like, oh, four thousand degree plasma lightsaber? What can it cut through? Can it cut through my Lamborghini? <laughs> like, I'm just waiting for that to happen. Because you've seen that robot dog by Boston Dynamics. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Spot or spark. Yeah, or, spot or some shit know. like that. They started selling that, right? Yeah. And you have a bunch of like YouTubers like fucking just buying that shit because they can <laughs> afford it. Like, right? It's cheap to them. It's a good opinion. video, you know, just exactly. playing that around video, with it. That video will make more money than like them purchasing the damn dog itself. So, yeah. But that dog yeah, is fucking sick. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. P- What's his channel name? I forgot what it's called. Uh, The Hacksmith. Hacksmith. Yeah. He, he, he also of- creates a lot of, a lot of other yeah. stuff too. Mm hmm. Uh, hit him and his team, but, but this is by far my favorite because it's retractable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude. He didn't post like I saw the video, like pretty much all of it, and but he didn't post like all the stuff where he cuts it. He says mm-hmm. like you got to pay for Patreon or whatever. Yeah, and that it's gonna be released it's, next it's week a, again. Like it, it's a good way to I make more money. I guess. Yeah, yeah. With that Boston dynamic thing. Dude, that that shit's gonna actually, I think more and more people will get access no, to waiting, that kind I'm of waiting technology. For the military to just mass purchase that shit. You no, know, there's mm-hmm. always memes about that dog. Uh, I I think there's this one YouTube channel, like VFX artist artist, right? Yeah, they yeah, do yeah. Like uh, custom CGI. Mm-hmm. So essentially, they cuss, uh They took like a Boston Dynamic video of them just showcasing the robots and the dog, I saw that. Right? Yeah, yeah. and then they turned it into something from like District Nine, some fucking <laughs> exoskeleton. Uh, Chappie, have you seen Chappie the movie? Mm-hmm. Um, it's like a robot who's like turned into a gangster robot because uh, he get he he learns these tendencies from how uh, they. Um, I guess gangster talk like, yo, what's up, fool? Like, <laughs> I'm about to rob, you know, like he, whatever. Um, fucking off topic, but like the that YouTube channel who like specialized in CGI, I think it's FVX or v, uh, VFX. VFX. Yeah, they took the box and dynamic uh, video mm-hmm. and then they put CGI and turned it into like, again, like Chappie, District 9. And they're just like shooting. They had like a tack dog with a fucking mm-hmm. turret and shit. <laughs> you know, like that's real. I'm like waiting militarized that. it. To the, exactly yeah i'm like waiting the highest level <laughs> for the army to just mass purchase that shit they're like okay fuck enlistment right they probably already have it dude like they're working on they're, it they're, they're, yeah it's, it's, <laughs> we just don't know but like you obviously know the military loves enlisting young people like at an early age get them involved and uh you know they, they have fucking 
uh, a Twitch channel where they stream video games and shit. They have esports yeah. teams, right? They're trying to get very involved into like the social media to mm -hmm. influence people to go to the military. And by all means, if that's your thing, do it. But like, yeah, get your facts. Protect straight, the, the yeah, country. You don't you don't want to just go. Like, I'm signing up for the military in hopes of doing whatever you want to accomplish, right? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna judge it, but at the same time, I'm just gonna tell you to be responsible to like what you decide in your life. So, mm -hmm. anyways, um, yeah, they're gonna be like fucking listen, We don't need that shit anymore. We got fucking robots now. <laughs> That's all the things we need. Sending a motherfucking drone with a like a turret on his back. Um, uh, if those dogs control. could like get to like forty miles per hour, like running speed, <laughs> dude, that'd know, be crazy. Bro, it's sprinting while fucking shooting. Yeah. Oh my god, that's just dumb. Yeah, you see that shit in movies, and now, like right now, the the dog, it's like a, it can't really do much. It just you have a controller, walks around. Yeah. It has a camera. It's a camera. It's yeah. pretty nice. I can actually do a lot. I think I just don't know all. Yeah, the... yeah. But like it, it, it does what almost the regular dog does, like where it just walks around. But it's not, like it's not handy in the sense that, like you could put stuff on it and shit like that i mean it could do some of that but bro i think you can put i think i could ride that thing bro really I gen, if i lose like maybe a little like go down to like 150 pounds 140 pounds i think i can hop on that back and fucking ride it <laughs> i'm not even kidding bro yeah that would be that would be sick though to to have that shit just use it and if you could do commands with it that would be that would be the next level where you just tell it to do normal tasks like when you wake up it like gives you something right when you wake up like a mm -hmm. cup of coffee like comes to your door a lot of people, a lot of people getting fucked up um mainly old people mm -hmm. but uh something that shouldn't like that shouldn't be like um your only like thought when you when you hear corona like oh it's gonna only affect you if it's old yep. right or like it won't kill me if I'm not, if I'm younger, you know, because yeah. obviously it's, it, it starts out like a common cold. Yeah. That's the, that's the tricky part. Like yeah. people, it's like a, a, a small symptoms, like mm -hmm. cough and stuff that can lead up yeah. to bigger and, things. And, uh, don't listen to us. We're not experts, by the way. We yeah, have we're all just, like our opinions on like how people think what, about certain our, outbreaks. Our knowledge on it. Yeah. Currently. yeah. As of right now. So, obviously, in the news, you've been hearing, like, Costco emptied out, Walmart yeah. emptied out, Target emptied <laughs> out. People selling on eBay, Amazon, like, double the price of, like, mm -hmm. these fucking masks, right? Yeah. Uh, hand sanitizer, yeah, hand toilet sanitary. paper, paper towels, whatever. Anything uh, sanitary, right? Mm -hmm. Me? Uh, if you overreact like that, either you're, you're part of the conspiracy theories of, like... Um, like the bunker conspiracy, yeah. like oh, we we're gonna buy a bunker just in case the fallout happens, you know, <laughs> something stupid like that, like a nuke randomly drops on us. That's those people who do that, like mm -hmm. you're 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 some you're another type of crazy, right? And then there's always people who who care, you know, yeah, they care about like the future of the situation. And then there's always that one group where they profit off the situation, yeah. Which includes, of course, the media. Yeah, the media and the stores and business people. Yeah, like us. Like uh, I was talking to banker because uh, we went to go open an account mm -hmm. with my family, right? And yeah. then the banker guy was like, "Oh, someone showed me like an article where this guy sold like two hand sanitizer bottles for a hundred bucks, yeah. and someone bought it apparently, right?" Yeah, I'm like, that sounds like a good business idea, you know? Go to Walmart or just put up a listing saying like, "Hey, this is gonna be thirty bucks." Yeah. And then if anyone's interested, they're going to obviously buy it. Mm -hmm. And they have a three-day shipping handling, right? Yeah. And then wait two days and see if they cancel their order. And if they don't cancel it on that last day, you buy it cheap mm -hmm. and then go <laughs> ship it out. You know, that's my business. But I'm personal. I'm too lazy. Um, I'm not too interested in the online marketing simply because it's, it's a very... Once you start it, it's not something you just leave it there and you wait. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you got to micromanage it a little bit every day so um yeah not too interested in that but uh three types of crazy you know ones who care ones who love the love those cons conspiracy theories you know There's and one crazy. who wants this to profit off yeah you know chaos mm -hmm. i don't know what what are your thoughts about this situation is it is it logical to no. buy out fucking stores you know like 
I, I saw this video on YouTube of mm-hmm. like, you know, in LA, they've had uh, more cases. Yeah, of and like, I think a person has died or maybe even a few. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the death toll, but it's, it's but like in LA specifically, there was like a Costco mm-hmm. and like, I think it was during the weekday too. Mm-hmm. There were, there was like three hours, uh, three hour before Costco opened, there was like a huge line yeah. outside Costco and like, Costco even said, like, those employees said that they never even get this kind of business, even during, like, Black Friday deals or mm-hmm. anything like that. Dude, I made that so, joke. Because I, I was watching the news with my dad. I was like, it's Black Friday. Look, <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. lined up. I know. But it, it, it's, they just had, like, the, like, stacks of, with pallets of, um, like, toilet paper mm-hmm. and, like, all the paper products and water and everything just, in two hours, just sold out. So dumb, dude. And so like they make an edgy joke. They're gonna they're gonna once the stores run out, they're gonna start stealing from homeless shelters, bro. <laughs> I know. Just to, just to add a little joke, dude. It's that's how that's how, that's how crazy I believe people are. I know. They're like, willing to I bet you they're willing to rob other they're, people. They're willing to like not step outside of their house. Like, yeah, exactly. A- <laughs> and of course many many people are starting to get their jobs at yeah. home with because it's some of them have computer jobs and mm-hmm. uh, it's very doable. But uh that's a good precaution, but I don't think yeah, it's like, yeah. Even like airports, uh, the airports. Getting... I believe the airports. Like you buy a flight, and, like there's memes like, oh, we can go uh, tour the world <laughs> at this at this level, man. <laughs> Cheap airfare, right? Cheap, bro. But at what I risk? Think, <laughs> at, yeah, at what <laughs> risk? I think the airport thing is smart though. Like there is a Travis Scott burger. Uh, don't tricks. think it's some special thing where yeah. you eat it and then you start tripping out, man. You get these hallucinations. <laughs> You're actually the highest in the room after eating the burger. Nah, yeah. it's it's none of that bullshit. It's you don't even get a, a toy of Travis Scott. Oh uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't expect no. like there's this there's uh the advertisement is like some action figure like you know is like first album yeah. I think of of his toy model. Mm-hmm. And that's like an advertisement. Don't expect that in your fucking <laughs> your Travis Scott Happy Meal, okay? Yeah. It's literally a quarter pounder burger with some fries and uh, a, sh- a drink, a Sprite. Yeah, a Sprite. Yeah. And barbecue <laughs> sauce. Don't forget the barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. But don't be going in the drive throughs and be like, can I get myself a Travis Scott burger? <laughs> People are going to think you're fucking retarded, dude. Like, I saw someone filming themselves doing it, and mm-hmm. the workers were just so, like, uh, just, they weren't having it, man. They're like, what yeah. are you talking about? Like, oh, can't? Can't what are you saying, man? Like, what are you doing? And then the guy's like, "Can I please have like a a Travis Patty? <laughs> no, Travis like, Patty. Can I get a the Travis Scott meal? Like, please, hello." I love like how the the people just started reselling it like right away for like oh yeah, you show me the picture yeah. like a thousand dollars, fucking four hundred dollars shirts, a yeah. hundred dollar receipt or some shit like yeah, receipt. You paid like four bucks for this shit, and now you want to sell paper. the paper. Yeah. Hey, man, if Travis Scott signed that, I'm probably worth a hundred dollars. Yeah, but, but yeah, it's just his meal. Like whatever he <laughs> orders, that they they just asked him like, "Hey, we'll pay you if you do this can, campaign yeah, can with you, us." Can you put your name on this fucking burger, <laughs> yeah. and we'll give you like thirty percent cut or some <laughs> something. I don't know. That's but, wild to me, man. Uh, other, you have other celebrities now. The, the little Uzi Happy Meal. <laughs> Paul <laughs> George came that. back. Paul George. Yeah. <laughs> After you so know when long. You texted me that, like, you said that he had apparently had depression and the bubble and shit like that, anxiety. Yeah. Dude, Twitter gave him that shit. I bet mm-hmm. you Twitter gave him that shit. And then Twitter took it away from him at the same <laughs> yeah. time. You know, Twitter roasted the shit out of him. He got fucking depressed. Like, damn, I, am I really this bad? Mm-hmm. And at the same time, Twitter's roasting literally said, or literally told him, hey, man, I got to step this shit up right now, man. Yeah. I got to drop nine points in the first quarter. Okay, nine points. Yeah. That's something you know? that people are going to brag about. Nine fucking points. <laughs> yeah, they brought him back. Points, I don't think it's impressive in the first yeah. quarter. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, that's... he came back, luckily, like, uh, good for him. You know, I don't Kawhi know needed you, him. Uh, I don't know if you know about Stephen A's burner account on Twitter. Yeah, I know about it. Oh, you know about yeah, it? Yeah. I love that. Dude. I love that he, shit. He does everything, man. He does from gaming to sports. Like, yeah. Not just basketball. He goes on fucking soccer. 
mm-hmm. uh, football. I don't know if he does baseball. And he has he like the hockey. best. He has the best Stephen A. clips, dude. Like, oh, for sure. Man has an archive of it. Yeah, I his whole he photos. More videos, he has more videos <laughs> of Stephen A. than ESPN does. I know for sure. He knows. He, he definitely like saves uh, Stephen A's like. If he has a Snapchat, mm-hmm. Instagram story, you know, all those things. Yeah. I I, I started, like, knowing about his profile, when, I think, last year. Uh, and he was at, like, I think 40,000, 50,000 followers. And now he's at almost 500,000. So, I mean, he's yes, posting, like, every day. Like, he's on Twitter. Whoever the person is, they're... Mm-hmm. they're you know, working and grinding on Twitter. Yeah. I also saw that uh, uh, on Twitter. It's very disturbing. Uh, <laughs> so this is on a random topic, you know. I'm over the real life shit, you know. Yeah. I was on Twitter and some motherfucker filmed up in a bottle of cum, dude. <laughs> a bottle? Yeah, like, like this big. Uh-huh. Like this tall, I mean, this <laughs> wide, this tall. When it's fucking semen, bruh. And then did not what? okay. That's not okay, dude. He's like, after like six months, I got this shit filled up. Let's <laughs> go, the- baby. <laughs> I was like, bro. And then, uh, I don't know. What, I'm going on it right now. Someone said like, oh, that's like that's like twenty that's like twenty billion kids in that bottle right there. <laughs> And then is he gonna like, donate it or some shit? Like, no, I don't it. know, dude. He's like, some guy's like, how much can you sell that for, man? <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm wondering. Yeah, those uh, sperm donors or whatever it's called, that they, they might take that shit. But I don't oh, know. From like, like six the, the months ago, droplet, yeah. the first droplet was like a year ago. I know. That shit <laughs> probably like, nice and molding the bottom. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. off. I don't even know if it's real, but I imagine that <laughs> Oh, here's Six a months. nice video on my Twitter feed. Karen's <laughs> but with zombie noise. Karen's? Karen's but with zombie noise. Oh, like the the people Karen's, like you yeah, know, yeah, short yeah. hair, old ladies yeah, yeah. or middle aged women. That were yelling about not uh, not wearing no, masks. Why, why do you wear a mask? Don't wear a <laughs> fucking mask, bitch. Yeah, dude. and it's it's always like a white middle aged woman. Oh, like you don't you don't see any sure. other race doing that for shit. Sure, bro. That privilege bro, ain't there for other I'd people. I'd be embarrassed as an Asian old lady. Like I'd be, yeah. I'd be embarrassed my own race. Like, fuck. I'm glad it's fucking not mine. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Uh, there's this one famous one called Belga Feed. Right? Okay. And she's been selling her bath water. Her bath water. Her bath water. This is her right what here. The? That's her. Okay. Yeah. You so you can see why people weirdos might yeah. find that attractive. But bath water of all things. Yeah, Belle Delphine is selling her bath water. Mean? I don't dude, know. I, dude, I don't how, know how much it is, but how do you know like if it's if that could just be like tap water like Exactly. Some fuckers start drinking <laughs> that shit. Drink it, and they've been hospitalized. <laughs> really? Yeah, they drank it because they're weirdos. What kind of what kind of sane person? One of you viewers probably bought the the bath water. Okay, okay. Like, if not you really. Know no. Who Belle Delphine is? Then, yeah, well, she's pretty big. You didn't know. I didn't know. But yeah, she sold her. She sold her bath water, and then she got banned on Instagram. Okay. Okay. For I don't know what reason, but she got banned on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And I kind of respect her work. Really? Okay, look. It, like, what do you mean, really? Okay, like, here, I'll explain. Like, I'll explain. You yeah. respect that she's selling bath yeah. water? <laughs> look, 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 look. All right, now we'll no. go to her store. We're going to Belle Duffy's store right now, okay? Oh, look, oh, 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 she's doing something dude, good. Dude, that, that, Help me build more that, abortion clinics. Okay, so she's pro choice. Okay. You know? Okay. She's doing something with her money, you know? Yeah, look what but, she's selling. But, but that shit's, oh, that's fucking nasty. That shit's ten thousand dollars. That, is, that right is nasty. She's selling ten thousand dollar gamer girl piss. That that's piss. I don't know what people. Piss. If people actually buy this shit. What the fuck? 
Look at the look at the pictures Yo, too. That's I thought the, bath water was pretty innocent. Oh you know? yeah. Pee. And the, she chewed gum. Chewed, chewed, chewed gum. She ain't innocent. For fifty Yo, bucks. That shit's nasty, guys. Like who who would buy but yeah, this? But I kind of respect it. Like she's like she's an e girl, so her obviously her true identity is not leaked. Like mm-hmm. look at all this makeup she has. You know. Yeah. She uh, she probably wears a wig. She's hella makeup. Yeah. She cosplays stuff like that. Like. Dressing up. So, obviously, no one's going to find her true identity unless they DDoS her, you know? Unless they hack all her social media and find where she lives. Yeah. Which so, I, don't, I don't think people will do that. Exactly. Or maybe they will. Well, I don't know. Maybe. maybe. Like, Bella Thor. Remember, you remember the incidents where her nudes were leaked by herself? She leaked it? Yeah. Oh, dude, you've been living under a rock, dude. Dude, I, I, I only pay attention to, like, Sports, St- yeah, sports and music, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not but, into this okay. like YouTube culture. No, it's it's YouTube Twitter culture, man. Yeah. It's it's just whatever's trending, like. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bella Thor. Got time Bella, for that shit. Bella Thor leaked her own nudes because a hacker threatened her to leak it. Okay. And she stood up for herself and to show the hacker that fuck you, I'm gonna leak it myself. Okay. Okay. But like I said, you know, hackers might hack Del Del feed, you know, and find her true identity. Yeah. But the reason why. I respect her work. She's an ego. Hidden personality, hidden identity. Mm-hmm. Don't know who she is really. Her name might not even be Belle Delfito, okay? Yeah. And she's selling her looks and stuff that doesn't necessarily expose her body. Like mm-hmm. piss, like you can get piss anywhere, guys, okay? You don't need to buy it from a <laughs> fucking e girl store. But like, that's what I'm saying. That's why I respect it, because she knows some f- dumb people, weirdos, those same desperate people, desperate people, virgins, will buy a ten thousand dollars small can of piss. Mm-hmm. The, the same people that signed up for going to Area Fifty One. Exactly, <laughs> those, those kind of people. Just, <laughs> those three hundred thousand people, jackasses. That's why I respect her work. Like, would if you had that, if you dressed up as a whole different person. Different yeah. identity, different name on all social media platforms, and you're hella famous. Two million plus followers on everything. Mm-hmm. You're telling me you wouldn't sell your own stuff to get money? Well, not that. Well, you not can't like sell that merch. Shit. Okay, because I'll, I'll sell merch. If, if you're known for your looks and like your slutty thoughtiness, how are you going <laughs> to sell merch? <laughs> Who's going to buy merch from you? Right? People who want, like, just put your picture on the merch. Man, shut <laughs> up, <laughs> like, bro. I wouldn't do it. I'm a guy. Okay, I can't do it. Okay, it's weird. I think if a guy did this, yeah, like a very yeah. attractive guy, that'd be hell. Nobody weird. gives a shit about guys. Bro. Guy poop, twenty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> twenty thousand. 